Welcome back to Real Fishing 2, the walkthrough. Today we are going winter inshore fishing. The last saltwater level we played was the summer inshore fishing. We're at a different cove, it looks like, wherein violent waves crash against the rocks during winter inshore fishing. We're going to see lots of oxygen dissolved into the water here, and we're looking for four different species. Large-scale blackfish, small-scale blackfish, bluefish, and the white-spotted parrotfish. We've seen other kinds of parrotfish and parrot perch in other saltwater levels today. We are looking for those four species. This level is a uh, definitely up there in terms of my favorite chillaxed and relaxed levels. This one is not a level where you're chasing a fish of a certain size or where you're chasing one specific uh, rare kind of fish that's hard to bring in. You're certainly going to have a good time looking for and catching three of each of these four species. So you don't need to have any size requirements at all for these guys, which is actually really, really, really nice. It's very relaxing. Um, you're not looking for something rare or something big. You just need three of each. So 12 fish is all you need to catch for this one. Of course, you're going to have some double ups. So the only real challenge in this one is... Um, changing your baits to match what you're looking for. So I'm going to start with the krill. Um, although this one, the uh, the choices are pretty relaxed also. You don't have a ton of choice in rigs and lines and all the, and all the other accoutrements that you can have in these levels. So um, you just kind of go with, what do I like? You can have a couple different rods, some line strengths, and you're choosing from either krill or seaweed. And the uh, we'll check a little bit later. We're on the krill right now. Uh, the krill works nicely for the blackfish, the small scale, large scale blackfish, and then the seaweed works well for the other two, bluefish and parrotfish. Uh, you have the bobber rig, and another thing that makes this level really relaxed and really easy is that uh, any of the bobber rigs on these fish usually are much easier to hook than any of the ledger rigs or some of the rigs where the fish is um, underwater and you're watching uh, some kind of bite animation. Generally, the bobbers or strike indicators just have something on the surface. When it goes down, you set the hook and away you go. You're not trying to look for a specific kind of fish moving its body animation. Um, and these fish themselves, none of them are too uh, large or too difficult to bring in. This is the uh, small-scale blackfish, so this is one of the species. Remember, we need three of each of four species. Uh, this video obviously will not have the entire session, which did play out over, I think, two fishing sessions here before I got um, three of all the kinds of fish I'm looking for. The bite rate was not super fast, but I was using, I think, line closer to the stronger end uh, of, the, of the strength continuum. So we've caught one of the species of blackfish, and the next fish we're going to catch today is the white-spotted parrotfish. So it has the uh, the very bright colors. This one is actually a little bit easier to catch on the seaweed than on the krill, but as this demonstrates, uh, you can catch all four species with uh, either bait in here. I think it's just your bite rate will be different depending on which species you're looking for. So I would almost apologize for this video for being as straightforward as it is. There's nothing really challenging to show you, but for completionist's sake, of course, we're going to record a video. Of course, we're going to make some commentary on this one, uh, but it, it's just very relaxed. You cast your line out. You can adjust the depth, of course, and the drag on the bobber. I'm not sure if uh, different species of these fish uh, live suspended at different depths or bite better at different depths. Um, I, To be honest with you, I did not have to do too much experimenting with that. The white-spotted parrotfish seemed to be a little bit less common of a bite rate as I was catching more of these. I think I ended up catching, before I caught my third white-spotted parrotfish, I caught maybe six or seven of the, uh, of the smaller, large-scale blackfish. So the blackfish are a little bit more common, but your choice of bait will uh, also kind of determine that. So that's a time jump you saw right there on the edit. That was actually the first time jump we've had to make since we loaded up the level. I did catch three different species right off the bat, but I didn't want to show you um, a bunch of, of repeats of catching some of the same species. This is a bluefish, despite the fact that it is the kind of uh, brown maroon color right there. This is a bluefish, so this is al already species number four. And we need to just catch three of each of these. There is no size requirement. And uh, none of them are yeah, too tricky. You can see that one went into the kick animation, but not nearly as much as some of the, the small trout do in the some of the trickier trout levels. 
where the fish, as soon as you hook them, they are kicking almost constantly and trying to throw your hook. Um, here's another time jump here. Here's where I'm checking my status. So you can see the blue fish, I've got one. The large scale black fish is four, one of the small and one of the parrot fish. So you'll want to use your notebook this way. Uh, it's not super clear in the, in the manuals uh, or directions that when you go to your notebook during a stage, you can um, push the arrow buttons right and left to turn the pages of your notebook and you can see just the fish that are available at that location. So if you ever are looking for like a completionist thing at a location like a, a variety ocean fishing or something like this where you're trying to catch one of everything or the trout fishing level where you're trying to catch one of everything, um, you can look at that list and see which ones do I need, which ones do I have, and how many of these do I have. Uh, so we're going to switch to seaweed here. We can see the white spotted pair of fish likes this, also good for bluefish. So those are the two species that I was specifically chasing at this point because I had caught enough of the blackfish on the krill. So we're going to switch over to the seaweed and see if we can finish out the level. Again, nothing super exciting to point out, just a very relaxed level. It's interesting that this level pops up where it does in this game, especially coming immediately after the summer inshore fishing where you're looking for the, the parrotfish, which is just a larger, uh, a mature version of the uh, parrot perch. I think I have that right. You're looking for just the larger fish, but again, because the fish you're looking for is one that's larger, it's it's more challenging to catch, and you end up hooking a number of fish that would be your day winner, your your fish that would advance you to uh, another level. I call it day winner from the, an old NES game called the Blue Marlin that I also play. Uh, but the fish that would advance you to the next level, um, and then you end up losing a lot of them, those larger ones. But this this level, you just kind of catch three of each, and you're on your way. So we've had another time jump right there. Uh, this is another white spotted parrotfish. You can see again why I didn't show the entire fishing session because it was just a relaxing uh, about a half hour or so session over two uh, fishing days in this game. That one was a little dangerous, could have uh, thrown the hook. And that jingle right there that I uh, listened to, because I always love that sound, that jingle tells you that uh, that is the fish that got us to the threshold of three of each species. So although you didn't see me catch all 12 fish that I needed to land this, this uh, level advance, I hope that I have made it clear what the expectations are for this level. And again, very relaxing winter inshore fishing. If you've liked this video or videos in this series, I always love to hear your feedback in the comment section down below. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you do like these videos, and you can hit me up on Twitter where I am also active underscore A-T-E. We will see you next time.